Pennypack Park is a municipal park, part of the Philadelphia Parks and Recreation System located in northeast Philadelphia in the U.S. state of Pennsylvania. Established in 1905 by ordinance of the city of Philadelphia, it includes about 1,600 acres, 6 square kilometers, of woodlands, meadows, and wetlands. The Pennypack Creek runs through the park from Pine Road to the Delaware River. The park has playgrounds, hiking and bike trails, and bridle paths for horseback riding. An adjunct to the park is the Pennypack Environmental Center on Very Road. More than 150 species of nesting and migrating birds use the park, including the tiny ruby-throated hummingbird, the great blue heron, warblers, the pileated woodpecker, several kinds of seabirds, ducks, geese, hawks, great horned owls and the little screech owl, to name only a few. Famous for its large, scattered deer herd, the park is home to a large variety of mammals, including several kinds of bat, the red and gray fox, rabbits, chipmunks, mice, muskrats, groundhogs, raccoons, skunks, opossum and weasels. The park is home to many reptile species including several kinds of snakes, turtles, including common snapping turtles, frogs, the common toad and several kinds of salamanders. Many historic structures remain intact throughout Pennypack Park. Built in 1697, the King's Highway Bridge at Frankfurt Avenue is the oldest stone bridge still in use in the United States. Pennypack Baptist Church, another of the park's historic sites, was chartered in 1688. During the American Revolutionary where the very house on very road was the site of a raid by British troops. The train that can rediscover abandoned railroad grades, remnants of early mills, mill races and other reminders that generations of mankind have gathered in the green heart of northeast Philadelphia. Philadelphia Chinatown is a predominantly Asian-American neighborhood in Center City, Philadelphia. The Philadelphia Chinatown Development Corporation supports the area. The neighborhood stretches from Vine Street on the north, Arch Street on the south, North Franklin Street and North 7th Street on the east, to North Broad Street on the west. Unlike some traditional Chinatowns, the Philadelphia Chinatown continues to grow in size and ethnic Chinese population, as Philadelphia itself is, as of 2018, experiencing significant Chinese immigration from New York City, 95 miles, 153 kilometers to the north, and, as of 2019, from China the top country of birth by a significant margin sending immigrants to Philadelphia, Wikipedia. Philadelphia has an incredible stock of public art, ranging from colorful city murals to downright head-scratching sculptures scattered throughout the city. But in honor of International Sculpture Day, we at Curbed Philly wanted to highlight some of the city's most iconic sculptures to date. This is by no means a complete catalog, the Association of Public Art has the extremely lengthy list here. Feel free to share your favorites in the comments below. The following points are listed geographically from west to east. Smith Memorial Arch The second oldest sculpture on this list after William Penn, the Smith Memorial Arch actually consists of 13 sculptures and busts. It was written in prominent Philadelphian Richard Smith's will to donate $500,000 to build a monument to Pennsylvania's naval and military heroes of the Civil War. Designed by architect John T. Windrum, it took 15 years to build from start to finish and now serves as the gateway to West Fairmont Park. No doubt more attention will be brought to the memorial when Parkside Neighborhood Edge finishes construction in fall 2017. Covenant Covenant is public art piece commissioned for the Redevelopment Authority's percent for art requirement. Designed by Alexander Lieberman, it was installed in 1975 along Locust Walk on the University of Pennsylvania's campus. The painted steel sculptures weighs more than 25 tons and is 45 feet tall. Rocky Statue This 8-foot, 6-inch tall sculpture of Sylvester Stallone's famous Rocky character currently sits at the base of the Philadelphia Museum of Art. But in its 35-year history, it has had many homes. Designed by A. A. Thomas Schomburg and given to the city of Philadelphia by Stallone in 1982, it first stood atop the museum's rocky steps. But critics argued that the movie prop wasn't suited for the cultural institution, and it moved down to South Philly at the old Spectrum Stadium. Ultimately, it found a permanent location at the foot of the Art Museum in 2006 and draws thousands of visitors each year. The Thinker A smaller version of Auguste Rodin's iconic Thinker sculpture sits outside of the Rodin Museum on the Benjamin Franklin Parkway. The 6-foot, 7-inch tall bronze sculpture sits on a concrete and limestone base and was installed in 1929. The setup of the sculpture in front of the facade is a replicate of Rodin's actual tomb in Newton, France. Swan Memorial Fountain 
No doubt one of the most iconic fountains in the city, the Swan Memorial Fountain dates back to 1924 and is the heart of Logan Square. Designed by Alexander Sterling Calder, there are three bronze sculptures of Native Americans in recline that spout water, representing the city's three main waterways, the Delaware River, Schuylkill River, and the Wissahickon Creek. The memorial is dedicated to Dr. Wilson Carey Swan, founder and president of the Philadelphia Fountain Society. Amor. Amor is a Robert Indiana sculpture that has been sitting pretty in its new permanent home at Sister Cities Park since December 2016. Previously, it stood atop the rocky steps at the Philadelphia Museum of Art, while it was on loan from the Morgan Art Foundation and on display during the Pope's visit. The six-foot-tall sculpture is now owned by the city. Clothespin this critically acclaimed sculpture by Clay Oldenburg was installed in 1976 in Center City as part of the city's 1% art program. As the Philadelphia Association for Public Art puts it, Clothespin certainly draws a reaction from everyone who passes it. It's made of COR10 steel, which turns a reddish brown as it weathers. Love Robert Indiana's iconic love sculpture is currently off somewhere being restored, but it will soon return to its home at Love Park which is set to reopen new and improved in fall 2017. The Love Sculpture was removed from its main location at John F. Kennedy Plaza, i.e. Love Park, one year ago ahead of the park's renovations. Indiana originally donated the six-foot-tall sculpture to the city in 1976 as a loan, but it has remained here ever since. William Penn the 37-foot-tall William Penn bronze statue sits on top of City Hall and has the title of being the tallest statue atop any building in the world. Designed by Alexander Milne Calder, it was installed in 1894 and took almost two years to finish. It's about to undergo a much-needed restoration beginning May 1, which will take about six weeks.